guys, welcome or welcome back to another one of my videos and today I will be showing you guys the fastest way of farming candy in the new Royal Oween update. This is what I've been doing and you get around 2000 to 3000 candies per night, but anyways let's get right into it. Firstly you have to get every of the fur candy bowls. The first one is right at the entrance of the bathrooms. If you paid attention to my candy count, it went up about 80, sometimes the bowls gives up to 150. Anyway, the second candy bowl is in the rainy day classroom so let's go there. Now that you've gotten all the candies in Campus 3 you teleport to Campus 4. One is at Poppy's and the other one is at the entrance to the carnival. Alright, at 4.30, the opening ceremony begins which is basically a minigame where you fly around the trees to collect apples and try to get the most, the more apples the more candy, basically like the Easter event with the eggs. I'm also unsure but I think there might be a pumpkin minigame as well sometimes at the opening ceremony but I'm unsure. Maybe it's for decoration but if there is you have to find the heaviest pumpkin. I won by getting 30 for apples and as you see that's a lot of candy. As you've claimed your nighty ticks you can use them on many different things, rides, food and minigames, if you want the most candy only use them on minigames, here I'll show you all the minigames and events that give you candy. Baking is a minigame that you can do whenever you want for candy, you choose between a few cakes to bake and you get a different amount of candy, they cost 2 to 3 tickets each. Now the second mini game is vacuuming which costs 4 ticks but gives up to 200 candy, you run around and vacuum up the leaves that have fell from the trees, there are usually about 600 to 700 leaves. On the hill, close to the roller coaster there is a game of memory you can play to gain candies. Then close to the bakery there's this fun cheap counting game where you count the amount of acorns falling down your screen, I would not recommend if you're bad at counting or have a small screen. You get between 10 and 30 candies per round here. Every night, there's an event close to Sunset Island where you follow a theme and the more votes you get the more candy you also get. The theme will stand near the stage during the night so you have time to dress up from the opening. This night's theme was steampunk, so I decided to use the new reworked corset. You have 80 seconds to go around and vote the contestants with three roses, similar to Sunset Island. I came second this night which gave me a bouquet, let's see how many diamonds I got. I got 130 candies, this however depends on how many roses you got but it's still an activity which gives you candy. At 9.30 depending on the night there's either a broom event or a maze to beat, this night's event was broom event but the maze is quite easy. While recording this it was my first time doing the broom event so don't bully me if I suck at it. You have to fly around with the broom and collect the candy which are floating in the sky.
As this was my first time I only collected 48 candies but it gave me 70 to candies to my candy count. Now that every event of the night is done you can either continue with the vacuum game or just spend your last ticks on memory, baking or the acorn game. I do the acorn one as it gives me the most candy for the least amount of ticks. Sadly, at 12pm the circus closes and you get flinged out of the map, however it opens again at 4.30pm the next day, but it takes extremely long time, you can try rejoining till a new server with a better time comes up if you want to. Anyways guys, that is going to be it for today's video, hopefully it helped you out and if it did make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe as it would really help me out, I will try to answer all the comments, have an amazing day, goodbye.